So in the previous two examples, we've implemented um, by way of a MATLAB live script um, the Lagrangian dynamics equation, which I've been affectionately referring to as the three-step dance, because we're having to sort of calculate the derivative of the Lagrangian three times. So what about when the machines that you and your students are looking at have, have more degrees of freedom? All right. And look, to be fair, you've already seen an example of that by way of the two-doff robotic manipulator, right? But let's just talk um, in more general terms now. If you're analyzing a multiple degree of freedom system, uh, what are some choices uh, that you have for implementing this three-step Lagrangian dance? So one way is the way that you've already seen, and that is just for each of the degrees of freedom, just copy and paste. And you know, copy and pasting into a MATLAB live script, it's, it's a pretty easy thing to do. So that's one approach. Another approach is uh, pasting in the three-step Lagrangian dance into, say, a MATLAB function. And this, this gives you the option then of being able to sort of reuse that algorithm for, you know, many, many different examples. And I guess just an extension of, of uh, inserting the algorithm into a function is just pasting it into a MATLAB class. Yeah? So these are examples of the choices that you have when you want to start sort of um, uh, considering multi-degree of freedom systems. Now to be crystal clear what I'm talking about here, let's just have a look. So what you're seeing on the screen, um, first and foremost, is the blue dotted boundary box simply highlights the fact that we've got a MATLAB for loop that is going to loop over each of the degrees of freedom. And then at the very center of that for loop, we have our application of the diff function three times, you know, doing that three step Lagrangian dance, right? So, so you can sort of copy that code fragment into a script, into a function, or into a class. And the other piece, which is um, the piece on computing those generalized forces, well, you know what, to be honest, we actually looked at this right from the get-go, even with the spring mass damper. So if you look at the, um, the red bounding box, that code fragment that's inside it, well, that's the for loop that accumulates the uh, generalized force. And then the outer blue um, bounding box, well, that contains the for loop that loops over the number of degrees of freedom. So this is just simple MATLAB code, and you can choose to, to insert that MATLAB code into your scripts, into your functions, or into your classes. So in the last case study that we're going to look at together today, you won't be seeing copy and pastes of that three-step Lagrangian dance. All right? You won't be seeing that at all. So what you will be seeing is I will be calling a function where I have implemented the Lagrangian algorithm. All right, so it's out of sight, but the algorithm is embedded into a function which we are simply going to call over and over again. 